This is a work of fiction, and the views expressed herein are the sole responsibility of the author. Likewise, certain characters, places, and coincidences are the product of the author's imagination. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead, business establishments, or actual events or locales is entirely coincidental. All rights have been reserved. Except for the brief quotations in a review, this book and podcast or any part thereof may not be reproduced, stored in or introduced into a retrieval system or transmitted in any form or by any means electronic, mechanical, photocopying, recording, or otherwise without the prior written permission of the publisher. You're listening to Time Traveler's Digest, the podcast. This podcast is based on a speculative fiction novel that explores time travel through an Afrocentric lens. Experience how stories break traditional storytelling boundaries as we journey through different time periods from ancient civilizations to the future. Within this collection lies a fresh chapter in an illustrious literary legacy, beckoning readers to embark on a mesmerizing odyssey through time and space that pays homage to bygone eras while envisioning a future shaped by the indomitable human spirit. The novel unveils the profound ability of storytelling to intertwine the past, present, and future, fostering inspiration within successive generations. The settings, from the grandeur of ancient Alexandria to the mysterious allure of hidden temples, are meticulously crafted. The heart of Time Traveler's Digest lies in its story, a tale of adventure, discovery, and the boundless possibilities of time. This obscure, first-of-its-kind literary and multimedia experience presents a captivating exploration of the repercussions stemming from the erosion of knowledge and the extraordinary measures individuals are willing to undertake to safeguard it. Let it serve as a powerful reminder of the vital importance of libraries and other sources of knowledge, urging us to wholeheartedly protect them for the betterment of our not-so-distant future. In addition to this podcast, the novel Time Traveler's Digest, an anthology, is also available in paperback, hardcover, and ebook. For new enticing visuals, podcast episodes, the illustrated magazine companion, merchandise, and more, visit timetravelersdigest.com. Are you ready to explore the vibrant world, its diverse characters, and experience their adventures? Let us explore an outtake from the novel with a chapter entitled The Cacophony, a recent letter written by Demetrius the Wise, our protagonist. August 8, 48, before the Common Era. Dear Progeny of the Nile, As I pen this account, I'm ensconced within the labyrinthine catacombs of time. Dodging the pandemonium unleashed a period as turbulent as a tempest in a teapot. It's a cacophony you might have encountered in history books. But I assure you, living through it, especially as a philosopher, an observer of life's machinations, it's something else entirely. From the vantage point of a silent observer, I watched the decisive battle of Pharsalus. The Roman armies, led by Julius Caesar and Pompey the Great, clashed like titans under an iron-gray sky. Caesar emerged victorious, his power growing like a weed in spring, while Pompey's hopes crumbled like a house of cards. Pompey, poor soul, fled to Egypt, a wolf fleeing from the lion, only to meet an end as sharp as the Ides of March. He was assassinated, struck down by order of Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, a lad barely old enough to don a beard. The news hit like a bolt from the blue, adding to the rising tumult. When Caesar arrived in Egypt, hot on Pompey's trail, he was roped into the Alexandrian civil war like a puppet in a shadow play. Ptolemy XIII, his advisor Pothinus, and Cleopatra VII, a queen with eyes that sparkled like the night sky, all played their part in this deadly drama. The great library of Alexandria, the world's beacon of knowledge, was caught in this maelstrom, 
when Caesar found himself besieged in Alexandria. Flames licked at the hallowed scripts and scrolls, creating a bonfire of human knowledge. It's a sight that would make any scholar's blood run cold. Amongst this chaos, an unlikely romance bloomed. Caesar, the seasoned Roman general, fell for the charms of Cleopatra, the queen of Egypt. Their affair started like a spark in a hay barn, growing into an inferno that would change the course of history. Shifting his attention from the heart of Egypt, Caesar turned his gaze towards Pontus. The Battle of Zilla unfolded, where Caesar faced Pharnaces II, son of Mithridates VI, and dealt him a swift defeat. His victory birthed the famous phrase, Veni, Vidi, Vici. I was there, amidst the echoes of the triumphant proclamation, standing invisible in the melee. Back in Egypt, the power struggle took another victim. Achilles, the Egyptian general, was executed by Ganymedes, Cleopatra's tutor. It was like watching a snake eat its own tail. The cycle of power and betrayal devouring everything in its path. Ptolemy XIII, the young pharaoh, drowned in the Nile while attempting to flee after the Battle of the Nile. A death as poignant as it was symbolic. The Nile gave life to Egypt, and in the same vein it claimed the life of its pharaoh. After Ptolemy XIII's death, the throne saw a new ruler. Cleopatra, alongside her younger brother Ptolemy XIV, ascended as the rulers of Egypt. But make no mistake, Cleopatra held the true power. The shifting sands of the Egyptian power structure made the political scene as unpredictable as a chameleon on a rainbow. All this while, Caesar not only commanded battles, but also found time to reform the Roman calendar. As Pontifex Maximus, he introduced the Julian calendar in Rome, marking the beginning of a new era. The calendar, starting on January 1st, stands as a testament to Caesar's impact on time itself. Yet. In all this, I have a solution. I've developed a device which received approval for use by the Academy for Time Travelers. This device, called the GRID, is a geometron relocation interspatial device that enables travel to other times and locations. This multidimensional instrument uses sound frequencies to communicate with other universes and facilitate travel through space-time. However, it's crucial to mention that the Book of Kemetic Dissertations, which holds many secrets to the grid, has been stolen by one amanuensis. Though I suspect I know its location, I'm confident that my team and I will retrieve the sacred book. I have been seeking new apprentices to join me in the search. We will have completed everything in my plan and discovered the path of master intelligence granted by the god Thoth the Atlantean. This plan has been laid out for us. Now, as I come to a close, you may question my purpose, yet you will soon understand our true mission. I have commissioned an amanuensis from your timeline to write a time traveler's digest to share our experiences. As I write to you from this vortex of time, know that history is not just the sterile facts and figures of textbooks, but a living, breathing entity as complex and chaotic as the minds that shape it. The cacophony of events I've traversed, marked by bloodshed, passion, treachery, and innovation, is but a ripple in the vast ocean of time. Who knows where I'll land next? What year? What place? What event is destined to be my safe harbor? Will I ever escape this cacophony? Time will tell. Until then, I'm yours in time. Demetrius Tutmos I invite you to join us on this incredible journey and become a part of the Time Traveler's Digest movement. Together, we can bring these stories to life and explore the moral implications of time travel. Let's make history together. 
for ways to show your support along with production notes, credits, and episode transcripts. Visit timetravelersdigest.com. For advertising opportunities, please email timetravelersdigest at gmail.com.